Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shago. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make or how I make my Cuban black beans. So the ingredients that we are going to need are chopped onion, like four or five um, garlic cloves, um, chopped green pepper, bay leaf. So I always put like one or two bay leaf on the on the black beans. We're going to use Goya ham flavor um, powder, like seasoning, oregano, like one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon cumin, and we also going to need like one teaspoon of sugar, and one tablespoon, one teaspoon of vinegar, white vinegar, okay? So, I already got the black beans in here, and of course you would need uh, 12 ounce bag, like one pound of black beans. So I already got the beans in here in my, on my pack. So um, you're gonna add 10, either 10 to 12 cups of water to one pound of black beans. And I already got here the black beans with the water, the 10 cups of water and the two bay leaf, okay? So just put it in the, in the, in the stove. So in my case, I'm using the pressure cooker. It's like the old fashioned way of doing it, plus it's quicker. But if you don't got a pressure cooker, you can use the, a regular pot and just, you know, let it boil for about 45 minutes. And then, you know, when the, when you touch the bean, they are soft, that's when you start adding the ingredients, you know, the other stuff. So I'm gonna let this thing cook for a little bit and medium high for a, a little bit. And while this thing is, Okay guys, now we're going to start making the sofrito. <laughs> so, so, remember um, two tablespoons of olive oil, you know, to make the sofrito, so. And then I got the the stove on medium high too. So I got I got the onion, onion and the green pepper in there. So the um, garlic cloth I'm gonna smash them with this thing. If you don't like garlic, you can use the powder, the, uh, gar um, the powder, but I like the real one. I don't like the powder. I mean, I use the powder sometimes, but it depends. But for this, I like the real one. So in here, you're just gonna fry the, in, you know, the onion, the green pepper, and the garlic for a little bit. And once the beans get uh, softened, that's where we're gonna throw all this thing in there. And like I said, and some people they put the garlic in the last because the garlic they uh, it cooks faster. So you know, if you're just gonna put the onion and the green pepper for a little bit and leave it there, and then just put the the garlic almost at the end, you can do that thing too. It's getting hot up in here. So let me turn that in. So that's it after, so I'm gonna start the video right now and once the thing uh, gets cooked I'm, and I'm gonna um, take one out. So the way you, ooh, this thing is hot. <laughs> so the way you can see this thing is soft is when you put it in your finger and boom. This thing. Okay guys, it's been 30 minutes already since I started cooking the beans on the pressure cooker, right? So, free over here which is the garlic the green pepper and the onions. 
So I'm going to control the steam here. And when you start frying the, the green pepper, the onion, and the garlic, it smells, it smells real good. So we're going to start putting the cumin, one teaspoon. All to taste, you know, it's up to you. So one teaspoon that we're gonna use this Goya seasoning. <clears throat> this is the, it comes in this pot. The whole thing. So I'm gonna use that. We're gonna use some oregano, like I said before. Now we're going to use the vinegar. One teaspoon of vinegar. Here we got the sugar. One teaspoon of sugar. I'm going to stir this in real good. Now, when it comes to the salt, it's up to you. It's, you can add the salt to taste. Me, in my case, for one bag of black beans, I will use one teaspoon of salt. Flat. Smells good. Now we're gonna um, let it cook for about 20 minutes or so, and then it should be it should be done. So I'm gonna wait 20 minutes and you know and come back and try it out and see how it tastes. Okay? As you guys can see, this is the final result of the black beans, and you can eat it with white rice or however you like to eat it. But white rice is real good with. Just remember guys, if you guys are using the pressure cooker, it will cook faster than if you are using a regular pot. If you are using a regular pot, it will be between 45 to an hour for you to do the whole process, you know, an hour and for you to do the whole thing. But because I was using the pressure cooker, that's why it took me long, it took me, it was quicker for me to do it. Okay? So remember, um, if you follow the step by step in this video, I'm pretty sure that you will be able to make some Cuban black beans. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe down below, it's free. And give me some thumbs up and see you next time. Bye.